Once upon a time, the Edward Clud Pond was an aquatic jewel, enriching the lives of everyone who happened upon it in Southwell. But time has not been kind. Constructed in 1956, never cleaned out since. Dank and dangerous, the council said, enough's enough. And naturally, they called on Stuart Smith to put things right. The intention is to get it dug out, get all the vegetation out of the pond, and then that will give it the, any wildlife that may be disturbed a chance to get back into the water. It's spring fed, so it'll always have water in the pond. 50 years of festering filth may not sound particularly appealing, but the lure of hidden treasure can be a great motivator. Who knows what we'll find? Anything from vintage shopping trolleys to penny farthings. Stuart's weapon of choice is his trusty Sightmaster JCB. The good thing with this machine is it doesn't do too much ground damage around. Bringing a track machine into a parkland like this, it would just create too much destruction. What I'll do is I'll move the old jetty here. I'll uh, stack this all up in a, a larger heap further away from the pond. We'll then be able to start sifting through the compost and uh, get any other slurry spread on the surrounding parkland. Particularly good smell. Unfortunately, while there's plenty of gunk, valuable antiquities are so far rather thin on the ground. Vintage road cone, collector's item, worth a fortune on eBay. This is halfway through. Uh, this is what is at the bottom of most park ponds, including road cones and school chairs and vintage tango cans. But if the pond does still harbour treasure, this must surely come to light during phase two. We're just going to swap the buckets now. I'm going to put the ditching bucket on. It's got the holes in it to let the water drain out so we don't get as much water getting dragged up onto the bank. Using the Sightmaster JCB, that's got a good seven metre reach on it. We'll be able to get right out into the middle of the pond. The intention is to dig it to about four feet deep in the middle. And that's a lot of silt to sift through. Stinks, doesn't it? But unfortunately, that's all there is. The Edward Clud Pond is officially treasureless. Unless you count the pond itself, of course, which, once finished, will be treasured for decades to come. Good stinky stuff. Grow your veggies in it next year. <laughs>